Okay, so I've gotten this question a ton when it comes to basically investing in American stocks and American ETFs or even Canadian ETFs that invest in American stocks. What is the American withholding tax? How is it paid? And is there anything that we can do to get around it? Well, guess what? There is no way to get around it. So today's video, we're going to be breaking it down. So U.S. government and corporate bonds are taxed for Canadians at 0%. So basically, you can make no money and not pay anything. From there, shares of U.S. corporations. If it's a dividend, you are then taxed at 15%. However, capital gain on sales is 0%. If it's a Canadian corporation, for example, TD, and you then buy and sell TD on the New York Stock Exchange instead of the TSX, you don't have to pay anything. In fact, same as for American depository receipts, as well as U.S. REITs, you don't need to pay anything on the capital gain. However, there is a 15% capital gains on dividends for U.S. REITs, and there's also 15% on ETFs when it comes to the short-term capital gain distribution, 15% there, 15% on dividends there, as well as, of course, 15% on U.S. ETF that does not qualify as an RIC. Now you may be wondering, well, why would there be capital gains? And is there really actually a way technically around it? Well, there is, and what you would do in Canada is to have an RRSP. There is that route that you can take to get around that whole, uh, basically, American withholding tax issue. Because there is a treaty when it comes to the RRSPs. However, when you sell a stock, usually there is sometimes on the uh, amount that is basically capital gains, there is sometimes what you would see is a 15% withholding tax on that. Sometimes I've seen that it's because of the type of stock or the way it is, uh, when it, the way maybe they, they do the corporation. So for example, Apple, for some reason, I when I sold my Apple shares, I was charged a withholding tax of 15%. Basically, the TD just took it right off the top. And the same idea is when I did the options for, or when I do basically naked call options, I also have to pay a 15% uh, fee or tax on that. Now, when it comes to your actual income tax, you don't have to worry about that 15%. It's going to show on your papers at the end of the year what you've paid in the, you're the withholding tax already, and that just goes towards your income. So for example, if you're taxed at 20%, then you would only have to pay an extra 5% on top of that to the Canadian tax revenue agency. That is basically how it works. So for example, if you made $100, they then took $15 from you. Well, let's say you have a 20% tax bracket. So then guess what? You've already paid the 15, so now you just have to pay five. However, that shows at the end of the year when it comes to your, your pay stubs, essentially, your, your, your statements, your tax statements from your brokerage account. So you don't really have to worry about it. Now, what happens to the stocks and the dividends that get paid to you through an ETF? Well, guess what? Those were already paid to the company that handles the ETF, which means that when that ETF pays the dividend, that withholding tax is already taken off and you just have to pay taxes on that whole amount uh, of whatever your income bracket is for the dividends. But remember, even though I'm saying that you're in the 20% tax bracket, we have to remember that dividends are actually technically classified as a different, like a different tax kind of code. This is basically how it works. So for example, if you are in Canada and you made $100 worth of dividends, how the tax code works is you would only have to pay taxes on $50 of that. The first $50 is tax-free. And then on top of that, that $50 is also taxed less than your regular tax, uh, dividend or your regular taxable earnings. And because of that, this is why I like dividends best. Obviously, always talk to a tax professional. I am not a tax professional. I'm not an accountant. And I am just a YouTube personality that is talking about stock stuff, about basically information I found online because I think that it could help you if I put it all in one spot. So keep in mind that I am just a random, random person on the internet. Always do your own research. 
And I hope that this small amount of information helps you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.